Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwath, that'll be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, law willing, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad, back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And um, I'm going to be going into um, how. We Israelites are not supposed to be voting, okay? We Israelites are not supposed to vote, okay? For anybody that is not our brother, who the Lord um, um, set up, okay, over us, okay? We're not supposed to vote, right? For anybody that is not our brother, okay, that the Lord has set up, okay, so you, so you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay, we don't supposed to take part in 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 voting in elections, um, especially because. Um, this is not our kingdom, okay? This is not our rest, okay? Last time I checked, we live underneath underneath the curses of the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, okay? The book of Deuteronomy, pertaining to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, when you read from 1 to 14, it tells you about the blessings, and um, 15 to 68, it tells you about the curses. And if you know the history of the Bible, of the Israelites, you'd know that our, um, our ancestors, our forefathers broke that covenant. So because of that, we live underneath the curses. So meaning this 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 world that we live in right now, um, we, we don't rule it, okay? We are people that rule over us. So this is not our kingdom and this is not our rest. So because of that fact alone, we don't supposed to be voting, especially for somebody that is not our brother. Okay, so I'm going to start this lesson with my first scripture. This is the book of Baruch, okay? Baruch, out of the Apocrypha, okay? Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. And it says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us. Who's the thou? The Most High. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach, okay, meaning a shame, and a curse, remember, pertaining to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, okay, we live underneath the curses, okay, for a reproach and for a curse, and to be subject to payments. This is the reason why we pay so much bills, okay, according to all the iniquities. Of our fathers which departed from the Lord our power. So according to all the iniquities, what is the iniquity? Sin upon sin. Of our fathers which departed from the Lord our power. So remember now they broke the covenant, so we live underneath the curses. So the fact that we live underneath the curses, right? So that's a reason for you to know that this kingdom what we live in right now, you know, uh, is not our kingdom. Okay, it's not our kingdom. We don't have rulership of it. Okay, the scripture tell you plainly. So right now, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, this is their kingdom. They they're running things. Okay, the scripture tell you in Second Ezra chapter six and verse nine, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it, which follows. Okay, right. So you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native, Ameri Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Um, um, we got next, okay? 
those of you who are, 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 are of the uh, the elect, the hopeful elect, I don't want to we are willing to have a part of that a precious number. Okay, we got next. Our kingdom is next. It's going to be an everlasting kingdom. Okay, so that's when um, um, the, uh, the everlasting kingdom is going to be set up on the earth. That's going to be um, King David's throne with our Lord Yahweh Shai sitting on the throne with the... Um, 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 144,000 ruling government, okay. Uh, the 12, the 12, uh, uh, the 12 disciples, okay, and um, the one third believers, okay. Scripture say, um, the 12 disciples, and they shall, they, they shall, they shall rule, they shall be ruling each tribe, it's 12 tribes, you know, and, and the disciples. It's Twelve disciples, and they're going to rule each one of the tri each one of the tribes over, over the, the hundred and forty-four thousand, twelve thousand of each tribe, right? And that's going to be a kingdom that's going to be set up forever. Let me get this scripture right here. This is um, Deuteronomy chapter uh, seventeen, okay? And I'm going to read from fourteen. The point is in fifteen. It says, "When thou art come unto the land which." The Lord, thy power, give it thee, and shall possess it, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me. Verse 15 is the point. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy power shall choose. Okay? One from among thy brethren. Shall thou set king over thee? Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. Okay, so this is clear. This is out of the law. Okay, this is out of the book of Deuteronomy. This is this is a part of the law. Let's read 15 again. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy power shall choose. One from among thy brethren shall thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. Okay, so we are not we are not supposed to uh, take part in voting. Okay, for someone that is not our brother. Okay, so that is not our customs. So we don't supposed to do that. Okay, we don't supposed to do it. But Jake. You know, Jake. Jake feel like you know this, 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 this two fang, this two fang system, which is the same head of this of, of of the snake. They feel like one of the fang is gonna help their cause, and uh, judging from history, they never had it. Okay, but you know how Jake Jake go. You know, Jake Jake just ignorant like that. You know. The simple believe in every word. The scripture tell you, Proverbs 14 and 15. The simple believe in every word. You know, whatever the politicians promise them, they go with every wind of doctrine. They believe it, okay? For the prudent man look well to his going. We know we're not supposed to vote for, for anyone that is not our brother. Why? Because we read in the scriptures. Blessed is he that readeth, okay? Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Okay, because uh, these jakes, man. Isaiah chapter 1 and, and verse 3, it says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel don't know. My people don't, my people do not consider. Okay, so you jakes, man. The, the, uh, the, the most I through Isaiah is, is com comparing you to 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 uh, two of the dumbest animals, okay, the ox and the ass. Let's read it again. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel do not know. My people do do not consider. So they they're not considering the Lord and 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 the things that they should be doing. You know, they they want to go and vote because they think it's going to do something for them. But it's not doing anything for them. Okay? They need to be in these scriptures 
and be reading and understanding what's going on. You know, you're not supposed to vote for anybody that's not that's not your brother or brethren. Okay? This is Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. And it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. Okay? So it says here, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I remember we read in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 17 and verse 15, that's a part of the law. Okay, we tell you that you ain't supposed to uh, set nobody king over you that's not your brethren or your brother. That's a part of the law. So it's saying here, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. So our people need to consider, man, you jakes, you jakes, <laughs> you got to wise up, man. I'm talking about you voting and all of this stuff like that, you know? That's not wise, man. You know, this is not our rest. Okay, this is this is this is not our rest. Okay, but hey, like I say, man, the scripture says, Isaiah thirty-four and sixteen. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Okay, no one of these shall fail. Meaning the prophecies, none shall want or make. Meaning say no other book could be compared to the holy scriptures. Okay, right. For I had commanded, and the Spirit had gathered them, and His Spirit had gathered them. Roughly paraphrasing. So you, you got to read, man. That's 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 just what it is. You got to wisen up. Okay? Can't be a simpleton and just just a yes man. You want to go and vote because you think you you think. I mean, these these politicians be promising promising things every four years. They promising something, and then when they get in office, they ain't got your back. Okay? You to the back of the line. This is not your arrest. Okay? You got to understand that. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. It says, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Okay? They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. So the Most High is calling, calling <laughs> you Jake's foolish man and sottish children, meaning silly. Okay, you gotta learn to trust on the Lord, trust in the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay, these people not gonna save you, man. You know the history. You know the history. You know? You, you know the history of where you're coming from. You you came here on slave ships, man. Okay? Uh, uh, that was that was prophesied to happen. That was a part of the punishment. Okay? And 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 and, 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 and the curses that we live under. Okay? But that's just what it is. You gotta wisen up. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter five and verse twenty-three. And it says, but this people had a revolting and a rebellious heart. You go back to this word heart. In the Hebrew, it means love, which means your mind. Okay? But this people have had a, re a, a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. They revolted and gone. This people had gone. You jakes. You had gone, man. You, 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 2020, you are they're talking about. But, but, but you voting and stuff like that? Your head gone, man. What you should be doing is trusting in the Lord. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 3. I'm going to begin at 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, meaning your mind, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Okay? In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths okay that's what it is man trust in the lord with all thine heart and lean that on thine own understanding you got to trust in the lord in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths okay 
And the Most High already say, Thou will in no wise set him king over thee. Okay? Right? You're not going to set somebody king over you who's not your brother. It's got to be someone who's your brethren, your brother. Okay? That's just what it is. All right? Let's go to the next scripture. All right? This is the book of uh, Psalms 118 and verse 8. It says, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Okay, so it is better to trust in the Lord. Plain. Okay? Plain. That's just what it is. This is the book of um, Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 5. And it says, Thus said the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusted in man and make it flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. Thus said the Lord, read it again, Cursed be the man that trusted in man and make it flesh his arm, whose, and whose heart departed from the Lord. Okay? So you trusted in man, you should be trusting in the Lord. Okay? You should be trusting in the Lord. Let me bring this out right here. This is the book of Micah, chapter 2. And verse 10, and it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. So, I, as I said at the beginning of the video, this is not our rest, and this is not our kingdom. We live in captivity. We live underneath the curses. So we don't supposed to vote for anybody that is not our brethren or our brother. Okay, proceeding to the book, proceeding, proceeding to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seventeen and verse fifteen. Okay, we just passing through because we live underneath the curses. It says, Micah two and ten, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted; it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Okay, so I got one more scripture. And then we're going to close out. I feel like I'll close out with this scripture right here. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 9. We're going to begin at uh, 23. And it says, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am Yahweh, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said Yahweh. Okay? So, that's just what it is, man. We have to know the most high. We got to trust in the Lord and we have to know him. Okay? Very, very important. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Let me read this again. Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23. Thus said Yahweh, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this. That he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said Yahweh. So hey, and all you do, you got to know the Most High. That's what's really. That's what. That, that's what really matters, man. Okay, hey, let me bring out another scripture before. I leave. I close it out with this one right here. Let's go to the book of uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter twelve and verse thirteen, because this is the whole duty of mankind. Okay, Ecclesiastes, chapter twelve and verse thirteen. It says, "Let us hear the 
the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High. You have to have a healthy fear of the Most High. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Okay? The fear of the Lord and the keeping of His commandments is the whole duty of mankind. And that's the whole conclusion of the matter. Okay? It is what it is. Brothers and sisters, I hope you were edified. You know, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to give all honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Mills Tuna taught me the truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are pushing this truth and laboring in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives with their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. Until the next time, I don't want to say Lord willing until the next lesson. I'm going to say Shalom.